What's up, world? Welcome back to another episode of Whiskey and Wrestling. You know, two things that make the perfect match. We're your hosts, HBK Nine God, the Cowboy. Get ready, folks, because shit's about to hit the fan. And to be the man, you got to be the man. Today, we're doing Royal Rumble predictions. It's Rumble time, folks. That's right. As you can see, I got the prediction belt on. Still the champ. Nice little run I got going. Nice little run. It's been what? Three months? Something like that? Three or four months. Yeah, something like that. Holding it strong. Holding it down. Something like that. Holding it down. Feeling like Roman Reigns. I got my Cowboys gear on. The Cowboys are playing the Niners right now. Let's talk about what not. What not, man. Best app on the market right now. If you're trying to buy some vintage toys, sneakers, action figures, wrestling figures, sports memorabilia, Storage units, jewelry, shoes, clothes, whatever you're into, man. There's somebody on there live auction selling, bro. Mm -hmm. This ain't a plug for a fucking for ad. <laughs> We're just putting it out there hoping to get one, man. But we, if you give us one, we'll take it. Also, right. they have professional wrestlers. Sports people. Sports famous people. people. Selling their own merchandise. Facts. Autographing it and everything. We just put in a submission to start selling some of our merch. Wrestlers, whatever we got we want to sell, so... If y'all want to get up on that, once we know we get approved, we'll drop it in the link. Y'all come watch us auction some shit off and buy some stuff from the Whiskey and Wrestling Brothers. Let's get into these predictions. First match of the night, we got Bray Wyatt versus LA Knight. You get a chant. You decide who goes first. We'll go with, uh, since RB3 is not with us tonight, he did send me his picks. So we'll go RB3, we'll go you, and then we'll go me. All right, let's, let's get it. Uh, RB3 has taken Bray Wyatt. I also have taken Bray Wyatt. I'm also going to take Bray Wyatt. Uh, I don't see him losing his first match back. Just keep building him. Don't bring him down. Build him up. Next match, Bianca Belair versus Alexa Bliss. Uh, RB3 has taken Bianca Belair. I have also taken Bianca Belair. Only because I really don't see Alexa Bliss beating her, but it's always that chance she has that Bray in her. But I'm still going Bianca. I'm also going to go to Bianca Belair. I don't. I, I love. I would love to see Alexa Bliss win, but I think Bianca loses it at WrestleMania. Uh, it's a little early for Alexa Bliss. I know she's got the little Bray in her, but once they get her fully turned and maybe back with him. I can see her making a run for either the Rawls or the SmackDown Championship. I like what they're doing with her. Next match, the Women's Royal You skipped Rumble. over. Oh, my bad. I skipped over. He jumps the I'm bean sorry. too much. I jumped. Roman versus KO. For the Universal World Heavyweight Championship. RB3 has taken the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns. Tribal Chief Roman Reigns. I'm taking the prize fighter. Kevin fucking... I'm fucking bullshit. I'm taking Roman Reigns. Now, <laughs> I mean, I would love to see Kevin I Owens beating. I was about to say, hold on. I would love to see Kevin yeah. Owens beating, but it's not going to happen. I mean, this thing they got going on with Sammy and the bloodline and Kevin Owens interfering and shit like that. It, it's it's probably one of the better angles they've got in wrestling right now. I think that's the only thing keeping Dodo irrelevant. Um... Yeah, I, Roman might lose it in the next couple months. I've heard they're going to try to drop one belt off of him, make him suspended from it or some bullshit. I just don't see... I don't see KO being the person to beat Roman. Sami uh, Zayn. I say Cody Rose. He says Sami Zayn. It'd be fun to have Sami yeah, Zayn. I mean, no disrespect to KO. KO is a hell of a wrestler and has done a lot in his career, but he's not taking down the Tribal Chief. Mm. Next match. Kick it off. All right, before we get into this, so the last two matches are the men's and the women's Royal Rumble matches. As we've all agreed upon, we do get, there's a potential of three points to pick up on each of these. We get to pick a winner, a, the number that could possibly win, and a surprise entrant. We've all agreed, don't be that bullshit guy that picks the obvious surprise that's going to come back. Yeah. So let's get it off with the women's. What you got? It's Bradley, right? Yeah, Bradley. okay. Bradley's up first. Bradley, Bradley. we're, we're going to go one by one. We'll go, we'll go winner, number, surprise. We're going to do it all together. I bet. Bradley has taken Rhea Ripley to win the Rumble. I'm also taking Rhea Ripley to win the Rumble. 
I've also taken Ray Ray. <laughs> what? Stop playing. Stop playing. Bradley has chosen, well, RB3 has chosen the number 15 entrant to win the Royal Rumble. I chose the number 19. Nine guy. Number one? I've also taken number 19. Oh, stop playing. Number 19 is my stop favorite playing. number. So, his surprise entrant for the Women's Royal Rumble is Beth Phoenix. My surprise entry is Naomi. She's going to come back. Mm. My surprise entry for the Women's Royal Rumble is Chelsea Green. I started to write that. and then Who is Chelsea Green? Matt Cardona is oh. not coming. <laughs> Chelsea Green has already hey, signed I with mean, WWE. Okay. Okay. Here we go. The Men's Rumble Match. RB3 has taken Cody Rhodes to win the Royal Rumble. I also taken Cody Rhodes to win the Royal Rumble. I have taken a guy who made his name in the 90s. The People's Champ. <laughs> the Rock. <laughs> I've taken The Rock. And the only oh. reason I'm taking The Rock is because if they're trying to split the titles, okay? If they drop, make Roman drop one, okay? Wasn't you the same guy that said he wasn't in, in, in the... No hey, I talk a lot of shit just to get you <laughs> off your game, buddy. But I if like they're, that. But I if like they're that. going to split like the that. titles like okay. they want to, okay? okay. Mm -hmm. If Cody was to win, okay? Mm -hmm. That makes no... Then who fights for the other world championship to determine that's why I think The Rock should win the Rumble. I think Cody fights for both. He won't. They're going to right. split for both. They're going to split them. This is right, this is what I'm predicting. They're going to split both. Okay. Mm -hmm. Rock wins. Rock faces Roman for the Universal. Mm -hmm. And they held a tournament for the WWE Championship, and it's going to be a finals on night one between Cody and Seth. That's my prediction. That's why my I prediction is Cody wins them both. I think he deserves it. I think. It brings closure to his family and it shows his dominance in the wrestling world. There's no need to split up the belts. <laughs> They're There's going no to. no need to split up. Not right now. There's no need to split up the belts. The day after WrestleMania is the Cody, draft. They have to have two champions. Well, I guess you were. I guess They're splitting you, it. I, they, it's I, already I, been confirmed. They're, I, I they're can already see that. splitting the tag belts. They're going to split the world championships. I don't think they should split them. I don't think they should they're split them. They're splitting them. Cody wins. Cody wins. RB3 has picked the number five. To win the Royal Rumble match. Number five? Mm -hmm. I picked number 21. Number 21. I have picked the number that used to have the most Royal Rumble entry winners. Now it's tied with another number. That's why I'm picking this number so they can be back to being the number one. I have picked number 27. 27. 27. All right. Surprise entries for the men's Royal Rumble. RB3 has selected the rated R superstar, Edge. I have it selected. Big E is going to come back in the Rumble. I think by now he's fully healed. Okay, I'm going to stop you. I'll let you repick. Why? Because they just put it out. He's out. Are the you serious? Game. I'll let you I didn't hear that. I didn't I'll hear let that. you repick. I still say Biggie. I don't think he's out to wrestling. Okay. I think I think that's a plug okay. for him to come back. I'm okay. I'm the curveball guy. I'm the impact guy. Biggie comes back at the Rumble. He doesn't come back at WrestleMania. Okay. Okay. My surprise entry for the males is Zack Ryder. He's gonna be there. Matt Cardona. He's gonna be there. Matt Cardona is my surprise for the men. Matt Cardona will be there. So. Only because Chelsea is there, and this guy tried to feed me some bullshit. Matt Cardone is going to be there, but I still say Big E will be there. World so, Rumble. I mean, y'all, comment down in the comment section below. Let us know who you're picking for each one of these matches. Let us know your winner, your number, and your surprise. Um, like how it is, if they have more matches from now mm -hmm. until the Rumble, we'll comment under who we think. Which, I mean, if they do anything, I think it'll be a tag team match. Mm -hmm. So I think I think we're all gonna take the Usos if it's there. Yeah. Um I will say I will say this. Sean Ross Sapp said that since Triple H has been in charge of talent, uh, that he has thrown a lot of curveballs. So maybe the ploy of Big E not coming back to Mania 
It's just another curveball. So I want to add on to that. Mm -hmm. I, there, I, I'll be honest. There was a guy I wanted to use as my surprise, but I don't. I haven't really read anything about him being there. But I would love for it. But a lot of people have talked about it. It's Stone Cold. He might. One last he rumble, might, bro. He one might. last rumble. He I, I, if he shows up, bro. He might. I, 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 that's my dude, dude. He might. Um, what do you rate this on a scale of five? Scale of five. This is gonna be a four. I think this is gonna be the best rumble in three years. I'll I'll give it a three and a half. Like you, I always like to vote, kind of go low and make it go up. Cause I mean, out of the matches, I'm I don't want to watch Bianca in the Lux. I don't like Bianca at all. I love Bianca, but she's a beast. I like four out of the five matches. Um, I'll give it a three and a half. I want it to oversee. That Bray it. LA Knight match is the only one I'm least engaged. What with. Bray Wyatt's first match? Baby? I mean, he's. He's fighting on, L.A. Knight. If he was fighting somebody like... Yeah! L.A. Knight has, a, has the best catch. Yeah! L.A. Knight <laughs> is a fucking jobber. He no, is, he's not. L.A. Knight. L.A. Knight? No, L.A. Knight. He was a... He was Let a, me know when you're buying some L.A. Knight merch, figures, or cards. It's nowhere on I would have bought him an impact. He it's was nowhere. a dog in impact. Yeah, he's not. Uh, he's the junkyard dog in <laughs> WWE. <he's not. laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I'm three and a half. Uh, you got anything else you want to say out here to our our dedicated Support fan base? Support the channel, like, subscribe. Uh, we're halfway to 500 subscribers. We appreciate all the love. Uh, follow me on Twitter, HBK Nine God. Follow me on Twitter at WAW the Cowboy. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna be uh, dropping some more figure hunting videos. Hey, y'all, stay tuned. I'm showing my mint on car collection. Mm -hmm. Of, of my pigs. Uh, be on the lookout. I think we've got a trivia video that's coming out within the next couple weeks mm -hmm. or so. Still trying to work out the kinks on that one. It was fun. Mm -hmm. um, I want to throw this out there. What What was your favorite Royal Rumble up to this front? Favorite Royal Rumble? Mm -hmm. I don't. I mean, I have three because three. Just is, one. Uh, but they're that. all going to be the same. It's going to be every time Austin won the Royal Rumble. Every time Austin. Because Austin's my favorite superstar of all you. time. I guess. What's you. yours? Uh, this is crazy. But it's He's going to say 1992. No. Actually, my one of my favorites is 2010 Rumble. Edge wins the Rumble. I fucking hate Edge. You call him the I most fucking, overrated I motherfucker hate in Edge. the game. But who, who he was at the Final Four was sick. It was a dope match. And... That's one of my favorite moments in the Rumble. Uh, I, re yeah. I can respect that. Yeah. I can respect that. Yeah. But you know, you know what it is? It's whiskey and wrestling. Cheers.